So we're going to talk about Sketchers, and we saw this surge higher Thursday into Friday, roughly 20% on earnings. And with this surge in price, it puts Sketchers up roughly 7% uh, year to date. However, if you look at the monthly chart going back five years a thousand dollars would only be worth about two thousand one hundred and thirty three dollars now staying on the monthly chart just want to show you a couple things uh, I love trend line breaks. In this case, this would be a counter trend line break because if you just kind of map it out, right, price is in an uptrend. Now, mapping out to the left of 2020. price was pretty much sideways until price kind of broke out right and eventually closing above the pivot highs staying on the monthly chart this is a nice level to have gotten long you did get a slight breach and close below this is what I would call a monthly buyers level at $35. Let's see how we could have gotten into that level. Right? You did get a couple of bounces. But again, looking at the trend line break, this is where you would have gotten long. All right, and so as a result of price pulling back to test resistance, which is now support, and it kind of goes back to the highs of 2021, price now formed a, a drop basin candle and a rally so this would be a weekly buyers level but the setup was nice as you can see on the daily chart right this was resistance and it was resistance in the past which became support not once but twice and you also had the 200 day moving average in yellow serving as dynamic support so this was a great setup to have gotten long uh, now you're not going to know exactly how price is going to perform on earnings but the setup was there. So now don't chase price. As you can see, we have some profit taken on Friday. Question is, will price fill the gap? You don't know, but if you do get a pullback, that would be the opportunity to get long. 
So again, shares of footwear company Skechers, it was higher after the company reported. A rare beat and raise quarters. Skechers blew past analysts. Constant currency revenue expectations. It's operating operating margin also outperformed Wall Street estimates. Looking forward to the full year. The company raised its revenue and EPS guidance for 2024, and both are comfortably ahead of analyst expectations. Overall, this quarter's results seem fairly positive, and shareholders should feel optimistic. So again, the charts are suggesting buy on a pullback to this weekly bias level at 56.50. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.